Today I'm going to share with you 13 tips for makeup for hooded eyes. These are the tips and tricks I use on my clients and have done for the last 20 years. I'm aware I'm not doing this on hooded eyes, I'm doing this on myself, but I promise you these tips and tricks work really well. I use them on my right eye which is ever so slightly smaller than my left. So the first tip is one of the most important is to always look directly straight into a mirror when you're applying makeup. We want to be able to see any colours applied above the crease of our eye which is here. When we look down into a mirror it stretches the skin, we apply the makeup and then when we look up it all disappears again. So looking straight ahead means we will be able to see where that makeup is sitting. Next up we want to make the most of the arch of the eyebrow, therefore we want to apply a highlight here. This will help to give a lifted look to this area. When I refer to a highlight, I'm talking about a matte highlight in terms of highlighting and contouring, not highlighting as in a frosted finish. You can apply a light reflecting eyeshadow here, however, if you do have slightly crepey skin, it will enhance that. Therefore, I'm going in with a concealer to do this. You can use a lighter colour foundation, but a concealer has higher pigment, so it will stand out a little bit better than foundation. Some people often get a little bit of redness through the brow, so having a concealer here will also help to neutralise that area. I will list and link all the products I've used in the description bar. Today I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. You only need a tiny amount and one jar will last you forever. So not only is this making the most of the arch of your eyebrow and giving a slightly more lifted finish, as you can see, it also helps to carve out the shape of your brow, making it look more defined. That isn't the intention, but it does end up helping with that. So I've patted that concealer in using a synthetic bristle brush, and it now looks like our skin, but a slightly lighter version. Next we want to apply some concealer on the outer corner of our eye. This area tends to sink as we age, so not only is it good for a lifted look when you have hooded eyes, but also if you're slightly more mature, this will help to bring some fullness back to this area. So you want to follow along as if your lash line on your lower lid was to continue up towards the tail of your eyebrow, or more out towards your temple, let's say. And then this will just help to brighten this area, giving an illusion of a lifted look. I know this has nothing to do with the actual hood of the eye yet, but because hooded eyes tend to make your eyes look slightly more tired, lifting the look of the brow, lifting the edges of the eye, all aid the appearance of a well-rested, more youthful looking eye. So apply your concealer, pat it in with your brush and don't be afraid to also pat it in with your fingers. We want it to still be a highlight but we want it to look a lot softer and more natural. So having it go up in a highlight at that angle as you can see just gives a bit more of a lifted finish to the eyes. Moving on to the lid itself, this area is the space that tends to get lost when you have hooded eyes. I'm applying the concealer directly on the centre of the lid. We want to make this area look as large as possible, so applying a highlight area to the centre will maximise the appearance of this space. If your eyes are hooded and they completely close over this area of your lid, as in you have excess skin that folds over, make sure that when you are looking into a mirror you cover the hood of your eye as well. So as long as you're looking straight ahead, whatever skin you can see that is directly in the centre, that needs to be light. So you might need to look down into a mirror first, so that it stretches the skin and you cover your lid, and then when you look up, if the fold comes over the top, also cover that directly into the centre. I'm sticking with a concealer just to show you guys for maximum impact, but you can go straight in with an eyeshadow, you can go in with a cream eyeshadow stick, you can use an eyeshadow primer here. I tend to stick with matte shades just because it works really well when working with hooded eyes. That being said, there are no rules when it comes to makeup. It's really down to personal preference and you can most certainly use a shimmery shade on the centre of the lid to maximise that lightness. So now we've got a base down and we've made a lighter lid in the centre. I'm going to go in with a powder eyeshadow in a lighter shade. Just for reference today, I'm using a bone colour. A nice light peachy tone would work, a pale pink. Anything that's lighter than your skin tone will work really well here. You can stick with nudes, but just make sure it's light enough to maximise this space. Notice how I'm keeping the majority of this on the centre of the lid and then I'll use what's left on the bristles to pat it either side. If at this stage you want to use a shimmery tone, I would apply it to the inner corner of the eye and the very centre of your lid. Looking straight into a mirror, I'm applying a matte bronzer shade above the lid space, so into the area where the eye creases and slightly higher up towards that brow bone. We do not want to take this on the lid space or the hood of the eye. This is only going to go in the crease and upwards. We do not want to lose any of that space that we've created on what's known as our mobile lid, the part that moves. 
If you're going for a very natural contoured look, keep the bronzer close to your skin tone. You can also use a brown eyeshadow, just don't go super dark in this area. We only want to apply a light amount to create a slight contrast between our lid space, which we're trying to make the most of, and our brow bone. Here you can see we've not lost any lid space, instead it looks much bigger than when we started. Hooded eyes tend to look a lot smaller, therefore we want to frame the lower eyelash line in order to make the actual ball of your eye look slightly larger and in turn it makes the whole eyes look bigger. So I'm taking a brown eye pencil and I'm lining from the outer corner going all the way along to about halfway. I'm using a smudger brush to soften this. Notice how I've not used a super dark eyeliner, it's a bit more of a softer warmer brown, it's just ever so slightly lighter. Then we want to extend this on the outer corner from our lower eyelash line, not the top. This is ideal if you have a heavy crease on the outer corner. If you don't, you can also extend it on the top here, just on the very outer V, keeping it super low and small. If you do have a natural crease here, look straight into a mirror when you apply it. It is still possible to do it with a crease. I do have a tutorial on eyeliner for hooded eyes, which I will link on screen for you. I'm using my Sigma E21 smudger brush to very softly blend this out. We want it to be super duper soft rather than a harsh liquid liner. If you are new to trying eyeliner, if you have hooded eyes, you can use a powder eyeshadow. Therefore, if you do make a mistake, it's easy to remove. If you want longevity, choose a eyeliner pencil that is waterproof. You want to keep your eyeliner perpendicular to the highest point of your lid. So as you can see from the center of my eyelid, when I go directly outwards with my spatula, you can see my eyeliner isn't any higher than this. Again, this helps us to prevent losing space on our top lid. And it also helps to elongate the eye, which is a really good tip when you have hooded eyes. Again, to maximize that space, if your eyes are quite small, use a cream pencil along your waterline. This will make the ball of your eye appear larger. You can use a cream, you can use a very pale pink, you can use a flesh tone. It's whatever works for you. I'm using a flesh tone. I would probably avoid using white as this can be a little bit too stark. So this look is ideal for daytime, but I will show you how to take it to nighttime. When you have hooded eyes, you want to maximize your eyelashes as best as possible. Often falsies aren't an option, so maximizing your natural lashes is going to be beneficial. If you have very small lids, you can use an eyelash curler like this, which really helps to get into the inner corners. I have a tutorial on this method, which I will link on screen for you. Applying eyeliner along your top lid is not always beneficial, it will close that space. But we can utilize our upper waterline to create the look of a fuller lash line and as if you are wearing eyeliner, but without losing the space on our top lid. You can either look up into a mirror to do this or down into a mirror, whatever is more comfortable for you, but you're going to be painting underneath your lash line. Use something that dries down, use something that's waterproof. And you can see when I look directly into the mirror, the left eye, as you can see, looks like we're wearing eyeliner, but it's super, super subtle and we've not lost any of that lid space. Whereas if you look at the right eye, you can see the pink tone underneath the eye, which is less flattering. So by going in and coating this with an eyeliner, it not only disguises the pink tone that we have naturally, it makes it look as if we're wearing eyeliner, it's not on top, so again, we're not losing that lid space, but it also makes your eyelash line look fuller at the root. Just make sure that while it's drying, you don't blink, as you don't want this to print down on your lower waterline. So as you can see, by getting rid of the pinky tone, it now looks much darker at the root. As I mentioned earlier, making the most of your natural eyelashes is a must. So try an eyelash primer. This one is by MAC. It is white to begin with, but will dry clear. And it will make the most of your natural lashes by making them thicker, but also slightly longer. Here I'm only applying one coat because I don't want anything too dramatic. As it starts to dry, I'm gonna go in with my black mascara. You can also use brown. And a tip here is to look down into a mirror instead of straight ahead because we don't want to get our mascara on our lid. We know that with hooded eyes, if you have that fold, applying mascara can get quite messy. So you want to stretch the skin as much as possible and looking down into a mirror and raising your brows will stretch that skin so you can coat your lashes without coating your top lid at the same time. This is the result of one coat of the primer and one coat of the mascara and we've really maximized our natural lashes. To start taking this from day to night, the first thing that we can do is darken the liner that we've got on the outer corner of our eye. 
I'm going in with a slightly darker brown eyeshadow this time. You can go in with a black if you're going for a really nice dark smokiness to the outer corner of the eye. Remember we're not going to be taking anything on the actual mobile lid because we don't want to lose that space. So whenever I'm doing hooded eye makeup for an evening out I really tend to concentrate on the outer edge of the eye and maximise this area so that we don't lose space on our top lid. Now remember this is for beginners so I'm keeping it super easy to recreate. So this is how it looks with a lick of mascara on our top lid, we've darkened our upper waterline and we've just deepened the shade on the outer corner and the lower eyelash line. Now we're going to go in with a brown eyeliner, again you can use black. This is going to enable us to create more of a smoky sultry finish but without overwhelming the eyes. You don't want to take this all the way across your waterline otherwise you really will make your eyes appear smaller. If you do want it to be much more smoky and sultry, feel free to take it all the way along. Keeping everything to the outer half, here you can see we've got a bit more of a lifted finish to the eye. It elongates the shape of them and we've not lost any lid space on top. And hopefully, depending on how hooded your eyes are, you've not really had to tackle too much with the hood of your eye. It's really all about working that outer third to maximise the shape of your eye. I'll look straight ahead and really frown to crumple my eyes just so that you can see it's not really affecting the shape that we've created on that outer corner. You can still see what we've applied when we look straight ahead in the mirror. For me this next tip is really important when you have hooded eyes because again we want to maximise our natural eyelash line by gaining as much lift as possible. So once your mascara is dried, on the outer third of your lash line, give it a little pinch with a short eyelash curler and you will see how much this lifts your outer edge. My mother-in-law has quite hooded eyes and when she applies mascara, her eyelashes are kind of what keeps the fold of her eye upwards. Therefore, if you get more lift to your eyelashes, your eyes themselves will look so much more awake. See how this has made my eye shape look much more almond? And this is just with our natural eyelashes, we're not going to clamp them all the way along. I would say don't go any further than the halfway mark, that way we still get that lifted appearance and we can really make the most of creating that almond shape which gives that lifted finish on the outer edges. I will show you now how to apply a couple of wispies just on the outer third of your lash line if you're going on a night out and again you want to maximise your eye shape but without losing any lid space. These are dovetail lashes, you can get them from Sweet Lashes and you want to apply two or three of the longest ones on the outer third of your lash line. Apply a tiny amount of glue and just drop them onto your natural lashes, you can manipulate them once they're in place. You'll see when you look straight into a mirror, it really does help to give a lifted finish to the outer edge. I know I keep mentioning it but that's all what this is about. Then go in with a slightly shorter one so it tapers down to meet your natural lashes as it gets towards the centre of your eye. So you really only want around 4 or 5 eyelashes maximum to really accentuate the outer third of your eyes. And that's all my tips and tricks today for beginners hooded eye makeup. I really hope you've found this video useful and you've got some tips and tricks to take away and try for yourself. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to come back to you. Don't forget, I will try and list and link all the products I've used in the description bar so you guys can shop directly from the video. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. Give the tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Come follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram at Show Me Makeup, and I'll see you in a couple of days with another video. Bye, guys.